Greetings to you. It's not for nothing that I took the pseudonym Incognito, because I don't want to reveal my identity, but at the same time I want to share with you information that will begin to change your life. You will see clearly and know what you did not know before. Sometimes I ask myself if I have the right to share information that I receive from various sources. Or just why am I doing this? Sometimes I ask myself if I have the right to share information that I receive from various sources. I have the right, or just why am I doing this? There are billions of people on our planet and the vast majority live in ignorance. Someone suspects something, and someone has a direct relationship, but only a modest dozen know everything for sure. Putting aside all doubts, I will answer myself again. Yes, I have the right and must do this. You have no idea what danger looms hourly, every second over all of humanity. The issue is not only about prosperity, prosperity and life expectancy, which economists, scientists and doctors around the world are struggling with, it is about the survival of mankind. I'm not a cleric or a fool waving religious posters outside a rundown store somewhere on Olympic Boulevard. I'm just a man who once saw the light. The documents that I want to make public were obtained legally, namely, bought with my personal money from a hacker ufologist who managed to break the security system of the FBI server. Before making public the information received, an inspection was carried out, which lasted about five years. And now the whole puzzle has come together. I'm getting started. Angola, 1975. A difficult, difficult time, which generously scattered adversity and spilled whole rivers of blood on this scorched, God-cursed black earth. How long is this going to last? What hatched the net? A UNIDA fighter in a crimson Barrett and camouflage uniform shoved an exhausted, downtrodden black guy with a machine gun who could not resist and plopped into the mud. Get up, you fat guy. The guy couldn't get up. His hand slid through the mud, drowned in it. The guy could not find the strength in himself. The fighter became enraged and began furiously hitting the emaciated guy on the back with the butt of an AK-47. Hey Bono, what are you doing? Who will work at the mine if you kill everyone? A UNITA fighter on the Bono estate turned to the hail, smiled obsequiously, and put the machine gun behind his back. Senor Qual, allow me to greet you. These last ones are from the village of fishermen who sheltered the partisans. They're good for nothing. They only ate fish and rice, so they can't work. Bona waved to two fighters nearby. They ran up, grabbed the harassed guy, and dragged him to the side. A well-fed, elderly qual in a white light jacket and Panama hat approached Bono, stepping over dry patches and liquid, sometimes baked yellowish clay. Bono waited like a groveling dog. Qual came closer and patted the negro on the buttock. Bono, but I noticed a long time ago that you are a little nepromat. Did you serve in the government forces? The negro bulged his eyes, slightly yellowed from incipient jaundice, and shouted loudly, That's right. Qual grimaced, but at the same time, squeezed the fighter's buttock harder. Yeah, my dear Bono, the captain died at the sufferance mine yesterday. Do you know who could take his place? Suddenly, both Qual and Bono turned at the cry, and from under the low arch of the tunnel, like wild rats, those who extracted diamonds from the rock crawled out one by one. Dirty, thin, emaciated, living dead blacks who were captured or enslaved during raids on Angolan villages in the border areas. Stop, bitches. Bono delicately dropped the boss's hand from his buttock, clicked the machine gun, and ran to the tunnel. United fighters fired over the heads of the slaves, huddled in a pile, but they did not obey. We're not going there. No, no, please. A pretty tough guy was dragged out of the crowd, and in front of a whole bunch of people, they were shot right in the chest. The crowd screamed and fell face down into the mud and clay, the workings from the tunnel. Go ahead, work, you bitches. No, no, there is death there, which our ancestors warned us about. Upon hearing the word ancestors, Bono briefly crossed himself, the legacy of the missionary colonists. Shut up, shut up, I said. What kind of death is this? Angola, 2003. Just yesterday, Watowix and his assistant arrived at Airport 4 de Fevereiro in Rwanda. It's so hot. God and these niggas are scurrying back and forth. A whole country of niggers, you can go crazy. Steve, when is the damn transport coming? Any minute now, Mr. Watowix. Today, we are heading to Sufferance, and then immediately to Gadetta. Sufferance aside, we're going straight to Gadetta. But, Mr. Watowix, the expedition has been agreed upon. Put it down. Ten minutes later, Watowix, 
with an incredible effort of will, found the strength to pull his waist-naked body out from under the pleasantly caressing air conditioner. Two more hours later, they were at the Gadetta mine. From Secret Documents, Luanda, Moscow, 1976. The testimony of Kual Lamoga cannot be analyzed due to insanity. A summary of the incident, at the Gadetta mine, there was a massive simultaneous death of fighters of the pro-communist forces, Udina TA, 12 people and workers from the Diamond Mine, 62 people. The inspection of the scene was carried out by the commander of the 3rd Company of the 245th Marine Battalion, Nadiuk E.G. The discovered corpses bear traces of extensive thermal burns. Internal organs were removed from some of the bodies, probably in connection with the local customs of the militants hires of the capitalist Tonta. The incident requires further investigation. What do you think, Steve? Steve Harris, in a black t-shirt, took off his sunglasses, wiped the glasses with his fingers and put them back on. There's nothing to think about, contact. We need to investigate. If the Soviets haven't cleaned up everything here. Watcholics looked thoughtfully at the entrance to the tunnel, which was blown up and littered with boulders. The Soviets had an economic interest here. In addition, the incident occurred in the 75th. Then there was no such capacity for research as now. I agree. One thing is surprising, where were these fucking specialists from the Delta and the Bufalo attachment? How did they even allow Soviet advisors here and let them run the place? Harris didn't say anything, just nodded his head. He wasn't particularly interested in the past. From a secret document. Luanda, Moscow, 1976. The entrance to the tunnel of the Gadetta mine was blown up and blocked. Currently, all work has been stopped. Armed guards and workers were destroyed by superior forces of the South African Army. The preserved cargo of diamonds was transported to the USR for processing. The work at the mine should be considered completed. It would be good to interrogate Kuala. Wachowicz scratched his head and wiped his face with a handkerchief. Work it out, but he is at least 80 years old now. Given their standard of living duration, he's already riding somewhere. But take it in development. Give me a satellite connection. I'll report on data today. Yes, Mr. Wantowix. Incident Report, Washington, 2003. December 21, 2003. During archaeological and subsequent geotectonic studies of the Gadetta mine, currently Ferrandis, an underground cavity of geometrically regular shape was discovered, a parallelogram with cubic branches. The cavity is located at a depth of 450 meters with a depth of 1.5 kilometers. Cubic branches of various sizes, at least 12 pieces. There are symmetrically arranged elongated oval structures at the base of the parallelogram. The geometric and structural parameters of the cavity are being refined, obtained by acoustic wave study of the terrain. Currently, mining is being carried out using a quarry method with spot drilling of pits in the future, an expedition with penetration into the cavity. The area is cordoned off by the U.S. Navy and a U.N. unit used in the dark, legend, protection of promising tantalum and diamond deposits. January 12, 2003. The information obtained after geological exploration is analyzed. According to preliminary data, spectral analysis of the selected rocks and indirect signs, lack of possibility to drill pits directly into the cavity. The following conclusions can be drawn. One. The cavity is covered with a layer of material or substance that exceeds the strength characteristics of the drilling tool, molybdenum, graphite alloy. Research is currently underway too. When diving into the pits of ultrasonic sensors and processing sections of the cavity with ultra and infrasound, a detailed picture of the cavity was obtained. Strict geometric shapes. The cavity was unevenly filled by 56%. A fenced off capsule, here and after referred to as the command center, was found in the head part of the cavity by acoustic method. Three, repeated sampling of rock in direct contact with the cavity allowed for chemical spectral analysis of oxides and salts. The cavity is covered with metal, the composition of which is being specified. February 14, 2003. The body of the cavity was opened in the area of the tail. The thickness of the body is 2.5 meters, the thinnest length. All samples of the hull fragments have been lifted structured and sent for research. The autopsy was performed with a high-frequency laser with a distribution power of 2,500 watts. February 19, 2003. 
An expedition of 11 people sent into the cavity contacted, confirming the penetration at 13.00 noon. Radio communication was maintained at all times. At 13.40, the contact was cut off. Transcription of radio conversations. Pluto, I am Neptune. I confirm the penetration. We are consolidating. Neptune, proceed with caution. No one knows what's in there. Be on your guard. After 10 minutes and 21 seconds, Pluto, I am Neptune. We are walking along the gallery with side branches. Continuous video and photo registration mode. Neptune, do not enter the side branches. Go in a straight line. What do you see? Report back. This is a huge gallery. Fossilized projections on the walls, similar to panels. What? What is it? What? Neptune? Neptune repeat. Neptune. The radio broadcast was interrupted and resumed after 30 minutes and 10 seconds. Ka, ka, Pluto, I, Neptune. There are only corpses here. The gallery is littered with corpses. Neptune, what happened? Immediate evacuation. I repeat, immediate evacuation. Fuck you all. Further from the transcription. A strong bang was clearly heard, presumably a shot. The suicide of the group commander. February 20, 2003. Work suspended, pit sealed, guards posted. April 11, 2003. I have inspected a special forces group prepared at the training ground. The training was carried out with an emphasis on conducting combat in the limited conditions of underground labyrinths, mines, and the subway. The group is insufficiently prepared. The training has been strengthened. From the analytical report, the contact department conveyed the opinion of the biocomputer, here and after referred to as the curator, on further exploration of the underground cavity, here and after referred to as the ship. The curator categorically forbade further exploration of the ship without explaining the reasons, followed by the threat of ending the contact exchange with the curator in violation of the ban. The data is currently being clarified. Luanda is beautiful and respectable only in the government center. Skyscrapers made of glass and concrete, trendy shops, boutiques, eateries and restaurants. The outskirts are early hell. Droid addicts, armed gangs of thugs, who now prefer Israeli UZI or American MP5 instead of the good old collage. The slums, which are called Musipa here, have become for many years a haven for refugees since the war with South Africa and their descendants, who knew no other war than the constant slaughter of groups for influence. An old homeless man sat in a doorway and watched as some young man, against the background of a wooden cardboard shack perched on exactly the same shack, beat a woman, demanding money or drinks from her. Suddenly the young man saw him. What are you staring at, you old bastard? The beaten woman took advantage of the confusion and disappeared into the shack. The young man did not have time to grab her hand, hit the door with his fist, but did not dare to break it. It's all because of you, you old goat. The guy jumped up to the homeless man in a few jumps and kicked him in the chest. The homeless man fell on his back and could not get up. A whole waterfall of blows fell on him, in the chest, stomach, groin, several times in the face. When he got out, the young man spat on the homeless man and cursing and cursing the government and the damn bitch Louise, who hid in the shack, went home. The homeless man tried to turn over, but could not, gasping for breath. He tried to say something and most likely to call for help. A puddle of sewage formed under it. So Senor Qual, the chief overseer of Vedetta and Sufferance Mines, died.